Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. This is now question number eight from the January 2022 unused paper for the International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P4 exam. So this paper was a paper that wasn't used, so it's a bit of extra practice for us now. It says use proof by contradiction to prove that for all positive real numbers x and y, that this inequality 9x over y plus y over x is greater than or equal to 6. So if you want to prove by contradiction that this is true for all positive real numbers, what we can say is, what contradicts this is, let's assume that there are some numbers, there exist some numbers which contradict this statement. So there exist some positive real numbers, okay, x and y, such that you can say 9x over y plus y over x is less than 6, okay, that would contradict this. This is saying that all positive uh, real real numbers, okay, um, in this expression will always give a value which is greater than or equal to 6. We're saying let's assume that there are some numbers, x and y, such that they're positive real numbers for which the inequality here will be opposite, that it's less than 6. That's, that's, that's opposite of greater than or equal to 6. Okay, so now with proof by contradiction, what you do is you continue on your proof until you find that you have basically um, found something which contradicts, okay, which which basically uh, contradicts what we started. It causes something, it causes this thing to show something that does not make sense. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, get rid of the fraction. I'm going to multiply by x, y, both sides of the equation to get rid of the fraction. Now, multiplying an inequality is fine as long as you're multiplying by positive numbers. Otherwise, the inequality sign has to change if it's, if it's negative. So if we don't know if the numbers are positive or negative, then we cannot multiply by them. But as we have said that the numbers are x and y are positive, there's no problem with us multiplying. If I'm saying x and y are positive, then x times y is positive. Therefore, we can multiply both sides by x times y. So I have x times y multiplied by 9x over y plus x times y multiplied by y over x is less than 6 times xy. Okay, now what happens here is the y's cancel out. And here the x's cancel out. You're left with 9 x squared plus y squared, and let me bring this onto this side, minus 6xy is less than 0. Now that will simplify, if I just rewrite it like this, you should be able to spot this as a, a perfect square. Okay, you can, you can recognize this as a perfect square, because you got basically, the first term is a square term, the last term is a square term, so if it is a perfect square, Let's write down the square root of this term and the square root of that term in the bracket. And as the middle term is negative, there will be a negative between them. So that should be correct. Let's see if that is correct. We square this term, you get 9x squared. We square that term, you get plus y squared. We multiply them together and double them, we get minus 6xy. So yes, this is actually the uh, factorized version of that. So we've got 3x minus y all squared is less than 0. Now, this is a contradiction. Because anything that you square, like 3x minus y, it doesn't matter what value y and x are in terms of, even if they were negative, for example, wouldn't matter. Because when you square whatever's in this bracket, you'll never ever get something which is less than zero. The most you can get is something that's, sorry, the least you can get is something that's equal to zero. But you'll never get anything that's less than zero if you were to square this. Because you square a negative number, it becomes positive. Okay, so we can say this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. 
that contradicts what we know. Because we know that, you know, anything squared, we know that 3x minus y all squared must be greater than or equal to 0. It must be greater than or equal to 0. So it can never be that a whole something squared will be negative, will be less than 0 for any real numbers. Okay? Okay, this is for, for, for all real x and y values that's always going to be greater than equal to zero therefore that's a contradiction okay so our assumption was contradicted our assumption okay our assumption was contradicted so we can say therefore that the original statement is true that 9x over y plus y over x 9x over y plus y over x, okay, is greater than or equal to 6, must be true. Okay, for all, for all for positive values, uh, for all positive real numbers, x and y, for all positive, positive real numbers, x and y okay x and y okay so our assumption was contradicted so this is true for all positive real numbers okay x and y so that's how we can end this proof so you start off by assuming what contradicts the original statement the original statement says this expression must be greater than or equal to six for all positive x and y values and we're saying we're going to assume that this is less than 6 for all positive x and y values. Then we, when you manipulate it algebraically, you spot this difference of squares. Okay, it's very important for you to be able to spot stuff like this, especially these proofs. And then once you've spotted that, you can um, then show that the square bracket, we, according to our inequality, is less than 0. But we know that cannot be true. So there's where the contradiction is. And so you say, as... This must always be greater than or equal to zero for all real x and y values. All right? We've contradicted our original assumption. Therefore, our assumption was contradicted. And this statement is true for all positive real x and y numbers. Okay, and that's the answer to part, well, that's the answer to question number eight. Okay, I hope that was clear. This is a, a relatively new, new topic in, in P4. I wasn't there previously in the old specification, so there's few, fewer questions on this. Um, I've answered a few of them now. The first paper was in October 2020, actually, so, you know, uh, not that many papers up to now, 2022. But anyway, um, I hope that was clear. Other questions you might want to watch from this particular paper, which is the January 2022 unused paper, you can find in the playlist which is linked at the top of the page here on the right hand side underneath that you will find a link to the topic of proofs from p4 and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link on the middle thank you for watching and see you soon